Hi, greetings everybody and welcome to another edition of Jamie's Journeys and today we are in the country of Jordan and we are at the archaeological site of Petra, truly one of the most visually stunning archaeological sites in the world. Now Petra is located about 260 kilometers from the uh, capital of Amman and we are 160 kilometers from Aqaba which is the port city from which we came. Anyway we're gonna take you down to show you the fantastic sights and uh, there's a couple ways you can get there. You can take a carriage, you can walk, or Enjoy it. you can take a horse. Yes. So thanks for joining me on another Jamie's Journey. Come on, let's go. You leave it your love, you <laughs> Come uh, about a kilometer uh, from the gate down, and uh, the actual uh, ancient city of Petra lies at the base of what's known as Wadi Musa. Now, Wadi means canyon. Musa uh, stands for Moses, and uh, scholars and historians believe that Moses did spend some time wandering in this canyon, which is adjacent to where we are now. Now, uh, right here, just wanted to point out this tunnel. This is a handmade tunnel dates back to 100 BC and it was believed that the Nebetians that occupied this place uh, had to protect themselves from flash floods so they figured out they needed a solution and they hand carved this uh, cave which is about 88 meters in length. All right we're just going to go over my little rise here and we're going to show you why uh, Petra is called the rock. All right, well, uh, we are now in uh, what's called the Seek, and this is where you have these rock cliffs that just rise up a couple hundred meters straight up off the floor. Beautiful, stunning, and picturesque. Now, uh, Petra is no known as the rock. That is the Greco-Roman translation to this place. And also, uh, the biblical translation is Sela, which also means the rock. The Nebetians who uh, resided here, uh, the name uh, that they used for this was Rakimo, which also means the rock. So let's continue to make our way down to the city. Well, as the uh, city of Petra began to grow, water became more and more of a problem. And uh, there are, in the mountains, you can see that there's cisterns dug out uh, to save water in case that they were invaded. Uh, we're not gonna make it there today. However, I been, have been there before. But right here is an example of a water gathering system taken from the rivers from up in Wadi Musa. This was all carved out and water would come right through here, down into the ancient city.
All right, the new road down to Petra is pretty well paved for the carts, but the old road, you can still see in certain spots, and this was originally laid by the Romans. Now also, as you make your way down, there are spots where you can see where the Romans had done different carvings and reliefs. Uh, this is just a, not the best example, but they've done uh, several of these as you make your way down to Petra. After this fascinating walk down the Seek, here is where the magic begins. And that is your reward. This is the uh, most popular structure here in Petra, known as Kazna, or as the Treasury. Uh, it was also uh, the backdrop for uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, made famous through that. But it's called the Treasury because uh, as raiders came through this area many times, they figured that there had to be some treasures buried or stored secretly here in Petra. So, at one time, they thought maybe they were stored in the urn on top of the structure. So you can see a lot of bullet holes uh, there today from where they shot it up and obviously uh, no treasure was ever found. There's 800 structures in all of the Petra Basin and certainly we're not gonna see all of them, uh, but we are gonna take you now further down the road and show you some more of Petra's magnificence. And this section here is known as the Street of Facades, and it is a street of tombs, many different styles of tombs from top to bottom.
magnificent. Simply magnificent. You know, these stairs uh, can take you up to what's called the higher place. And I've been up to the high place before. And it is spectacular up there. It was actually a, they said a place for sacrifices. But uh, that's not gonna be in our plan today, although the views are terrific. We're gonna go to the end of Petra. We have another idea for today. But the Nembetsians, who were they? Why were they here? Well, they were a nomadic tribe from Northwestern Arabia. And so they moved around. But when they came to this place, evidently, they liked it and they ended up staying. Uh, they occupied this area from about 500 BC to about 500 AD, and they became a prosperous nation. And how that became is uh, due to the camel caravans that would pass through here not too far from where we are. They would conduct raids on the caravans and plunder them, stealing their goods. But later, uh, they became even more prosperous when they set up a type of toll system. That toll system was to guarantee these camel caravans safe passage through this area. things I love about uh, Petra is the color of the rock, the limestone. You can, uh, you can see it better at different times during the day, but it's the reds and the yellows and the oranges, all different striations of those colors, which makes it truly unique. This structure is uh, new from the last time I was here a couple years ago. Anyway, uh, the, the Romans came here in uh, 106, and that was uh, during the reign of Emperor Trajan. Now, when he came here, they made a lot of improvements. They, they put in a road, and they built this amphitheater behind us. After cutting away some of the tombs, it seats 3,000 people. Now, the Christians, they had also had their influence, and that uh, began after 324, when Emperor Constantine made Christianity the Roman religion. So they did come here, and uh, you'll find uh, remnants of that, as in some of the tombs and temples, you can find the Christian crucifix on some of the walls.
Okay, uh, now we've uh, hired some donkeys and we're gonna head up to uh, what's known as the monastery. It's about 850 steps and it, uh, we can probably do it on donkeys in about 40, 45 minutes. So up we go and it's time to head on up. And away we go. <laughs> Come a, a short distance through a valley, and now it's time to hit the stairs. As I said, about 850 to go. Come on. Head on. Head on. Head on. Head on. Head on. Uh, the view is amazing. Amazing. Better one. <laughs> uh, spectacular. Spectacular view. Well, we uh, made it uh, to the top, and it was an uh, interesting.